Alright, what is up YouTube? I want to make a video on, uh, for novice users, people who are not experienced in Windows, on uh, how to speed up your computer, uh, how, to just how to make it run better. Um, so basically, I'm going to show you a couple different things you can do with your computer that will make it run like a lot faster. Um, in XP, this is XP by the way, I know it looks like Vista, it's not Vista. Uh, so anyways, moving on. Um, first tool I'm going to show you is, um, something called msconfig it'll basically what you're going to do is remove startup programs so basically um, what happens a lot of times is you install like all your programs on your computer and then the next thing you know you have like 40,000 applications starting up um, when you boot up your computer when you don't even know it and it really just slows down your computer and takes like two and a half days to boot so uh, we're going to fix that so for what you can do is you can click on start, run, or you can just hit the start key and hit R, and then you type in MS config, type in M S C O N F I G, hit OK or enter, and then you're gonna go over to the last tab and says startup. Now what you're gonna find in here is a lot is all the programs that start up with your computer. The unchecked ones is I've already unchecked these are ones that I don't want to start up. So I've got like Toonbyte in here, and Yahoo Music Jukebox, and even though you don't know these are starting up, they are. They're just down here. You don't see them, but they're down here. Um, so basically just remove programs that you don't want, and you don't have to start up with it. So you have like iTunes or something like that, and uh, you don't use iTunes that often just to sync your iPod once in a while. Go ahead and like uncheck that. Like I have iTunes right here, uncheck that. Um, and basically since I don't use iTunes that often I can then check that and now my computer will run a lot faster now it will take longer for iTunes to start up but it will improve speed your computer a lot and help with RAM so we're going to close hit exit without restart unless you want to restart your computer and the next time you boot up your computer it will change the starter program second one is um, get more RAM for your computer. If you have like, um, I see a lot of computers with like 512 megs of RAM, that's like it. Um, that is not a lot. Um, so if you know what you're doing with RAM, I would suggest you get a, at least one gigabyte for Windows XP. Um, it'll help a lot with the system performance. You won't be running out of RAM all the time. And that'll fix a lot of the crashes and stuff like that you run into. Um, third one, um, do run and run a defrag fragment your hard drive. Um, I have a program here called um, Disk Keeper. This is a $30 program I believe, um, but it does amazing things. Basically, what happens after a while, after you've been using your computer for a couple months, um, a lot of the files become scrambled around and just on your hard drive. It, it takes like two and a half hours for it to uh, load the files off the hard drive. Well, what you can do is you run Disk Keeper will line all the files and they load things like twice as fast. Um, Windows has a, has a um, defragmenter built in, but it's not as good. Um, so, that is a suggestion for software to get. Third one, run a virus check. Um, now, this is a debatable thing. I have a program called Event Spyware Remover. This removes spyware. Um, I have actually never had a problem with viruses. I mean, a lot of people do. I don't know. But, in my opinion, it's not. A lot of, I see a lot of people who have like 4,000 virus programs on their computer, and it just slows them down a huge amount. Um, my suggestion is try disabling those or even removing them. Um, that'll speed up your computer a lot because you won't be constantly running into, you know, virus programs and virus checks all the time, um, which just slows your down, computer down overall. My suggestion. Download Advanced Spy Remover. It's a free program and it does a good job of removing small, small spyware, spyware problems. Um, final thing: remove junk programs. Um, I see a lot of people, a lot of my friends, they have um, four billion programs in their computer. This will slow it down. Okay. So my suggestion is, you know, they have like I've got like one and a little bit here lines of programs. I think. 
four lines of programs, and uh, half of them are things that don't even know what the heck they are. Um, so my suggestion is to start control panel, add or remove program, and the segment to populate, and then just remove anything that you don't need. trial software or stuff you're never going to use again in your life, just remove them and it'll, and it'll speed up your computer a heck of a lot. Um, so that's my suggestion. Uh, anyways, thanks for watching uh, how to, how to uh, manage your computer, how to speed it up a little bit. Hope that helps. Feel free to leave any comments or questions. And, uh, have a good day. Thanks.